guys, it's Ryan back here again. And today I'm reviewing another Walking Dead figure from McFarlane Toys, Bungie Guts Walker. This figure is from TV Series 6, and the retail price is $14.99. This particular walker is based off the supermarket scene from the opening episode of Season 4, when the walkers crash through the roof and attack the group of survivors. I have to say, the overall design is rather cool, but the hanging concept is flawed, and it doesn't work out as well as it's intended to. Like most of the newer figures from the TV series line, this walker is packed full of sculpt detail, and he even has some decent articulation too. For the most part, he's wearing basic clothing, including jeans, a shirt, and a jacket. The head sculpt is gruesome, with one eye missing and large gashes exposing the muscle and bone underneath. The skin is painted in a sickish green color, and the only remaining eye is painted perfectly. And his hair is nicely detailed, with a dry brushing for texture. His white button-up shirt is stained with blood, and the yellow jacket has large rips in it, with a heavy black wash as well. Sculpted onto the back of the jacket is a large hanging hood. The left lower arm is exposed, with more blood stains and sculpted gashes. At the waist, his intestines are ripped out and hanging down the rest of the figure, while quite a bit of blood is accumulated on his pants. Sculpted onto the sides of them is pockets, and he's wearing some heavy-duty tan boots, too. Like I previously mentioned, the gimmick feature doesn't work so well. Theoretically, it should be able to hang from its intestines, but most of the time it just falls right out. But if you wish, you can remove that segment to have just a little bit hanging out, rather than all of it. He doesn't come with any weapons or accessories, but his articulation includes a ball-jointed neck, a swivel left shoulder, a swivel right elbow, swivel hips, and ball-hinged knees. Overall, for about $15, this is neither the best or worst walker they put out there. Sculpt and paint-wise, it's pretty good, but other than that, you can't really do too much with it, since the articulation is limited and the play feature is flawed. In the end, it's really up to you whether or not you want to add this walker to your collection. I hope you all enjoyed this review, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Subscribe for hundreds of collectible reviews, including Halo and Star Wars, and follow me on Facebook and Twitter for up-to-date channel news.